on 21st March 2022, CSIR Institute of Microbial Technology, IMTEC, celebrated Proteomics Day, the Foundation Day of Proteomics Society of India, in a deaf inclusive manner. Proteomics is the study of sum total of proteins in a cell and organism and it is useful in understanding various complex dimensions of cell and human biology that scientists wish to regulate, navigate, sense or resolve. CSIR MTech is a national center for excellence in microbial sciences and was established in 1984. IMTEC's vision and mission are to create a translational ecosystem strengthened by fundamental discoveries and address unmet healthcare and industrial needs with state-of-the-art processes and platforms. As first such event in the country, the scientific program was made deaf accessible under the ongoing project of ISLEVL, Indian Sign Language Enabled Virtual Lab Initiative of Jigyasa Mission a scientific social responsibility program of CSIR. Along with staff and students of CSIR MTech, members of PSI, scientists and students from sister CSIR labs, dignitaries and guests from other institutions, around 50 deaf students of DTSIL and deaf trainee teachers affiliated with Haryana Welfare Society for Hearing and Speech Impairment participated in the program. To ensure inclusivity of this unique mix of hearing and deaf audience, the dialogues and deliberations of the event were live interpreted into the Indian Sign Language by Saurav Roy Chaudhary and Stuti Kumari, the project employees of CSIR MTech. Dr. Alka Rao, Principal Scientist and the event coordinator, welcomed all guests present at the venue and participants connected online. Dr. Anshu Bhardwaj, Principal Scientist, moderated the sessions. Shri Jayant Sehesubuthe, the National Organizing Secretary of Vikyan Bharti, and Dr. Sanjeev Khosla, Director CSIR MTech, inaugurated the event. Shri Sehesubuthe applauded this pioneering initiative of CSIR MTech as a practical example of implementing the inclusive education for all. A dream of Honorable Prime Minister of India, and the president of society of CSIR. किसी भी देश की प्रगति के लिए एजुकेशन नकलीवर इंक्लूजिव होनी चाहिए बल्कि इक्विटेबल भी होनी चाहिए. In her presidential remarks, Dr. Shubhra Chakraborty, Director National Institute of Plant Genome Research and President PSI introduced the scope and achievements of the PSI and encouraged audience for maximum participation in the scientific events of the society. Dr. Chakraborty found the Deaf Inclusive Proteomics Day a very innovative program. Dr. Mahesh Kulkarni, member PSI Executive Council, chaired the first session, Sweet Proteomics. Dr. Asif Shah Jahan from CCRC USA delivered a talk on SARS-CoV-2 glycoproteome. And alumni speaker Dr. Rupa Nagar, currently working at University of Dundee, discussed the decoding of parasite glycosylation. The scientific lectures were supported by the ISLEVL team of CSIR IMTech. Founder member of the World Association of Sign Language Interpreters, and a pioneer in the field of sign language and interpreting in the country, Sri Arun C. Rao deeply appreciated CSIR for this first of its kind outreach of a scientific institution to deaf students and their curious minds. He called upon other scientific institutions in India to follow the example of CSIR MTech. And hearing impairment, Panchkula in her video message cited extreme challenges lack of content and methods for education of difficult subjects like science, technology and engineering to deaf students. She expressed her happiness and supported the volunteer interest of CSIR scientists in pursuing projects like ISLEVL. She communicated the appreciation of this enabling initiative of CSIR MTech on behalf of Honorable Governor Haryana, the President and Honorable CM Haryana the Vice President of the HW SPSHI. Professor Unnat P. Pandit, 
IP Innovation and Entrepreneurship, JNU, and former Program Director, Adult Innovation Mission, Neeti Ayog, was the chief guest for the second session, applauded the effort and inclusive approach of the program. He appreciated CSIR Imtech for engaging deaf employees, Mr. Nitin Kamra, Mr. Dig Vijay, Ms. Neha, and Mr. Shubham in ISLEBL initiative and truly enabling the cause of deaf inclusion in STEM education. In his interactive session with deaf teacher trainees, Professor Pandit identified the scope of developing deaf accessible window system in the government offices like Office of Patents and Trademarks to facilitate creative deaf artists and students to secure their innovative creations and products. He proposed and recommended that CSIR must continue such events and activities in a mission mode and in a pan-India manner. Dr. Girish Sahani, former Director General of CSIR and Secretary DSIR, was the distinguished guest for the event. During his address and subsequent interactions with the deaf students, he urged that CSIR scientists should try to explore and develop artificial intelligence and IT-based tools for sign image to text conversion applications and vice versa to facilitate communication between deaf and hearing people. He expressed his happiness with the growing canvas of Jigyasa mission. Srinarhari Satri, the Chairman Task Force Jigyasa and Director NIST, supported the event wholeheartedly and expressed his satisfaction and happiness with the efforts of Imtech Jigyasa team in his text message. Dr. Arvind Ranade from Vigyan Prasad DST, Sri Ravi Sardeshmukh and Dr. Surekha Jingwani and Vibhu Satyaprakash and others with the young volunteer of HWSPSHI present during the event. Dr. Alka Rao, Principal Scientist, MTech and elected member PSI conceptualized and coordinated the event under the Indian Sign Language Enabled Virtual Lab ISLEBL initiative at CSIR MTech.